Hello, we're dealing with columns again. In the last video, we saw how we can make a column be visible on the final page, how we can apply a color overlay to it, including opacity, and have it be visible, how we can use the design manager to add custom styles like rounded corners, borders, things like that. So that's a great way of making such a thing like a round corner direct that we want to um, uh, have the column so that as the contents of the column grows and shrinks, that the, the round corner rect grows and shrinks with it so we can have a, a, a visible container um, that our columns are. So it's very, very powerful. But sometimes we get a design idea in our head and we just can't let it go and we really want that particular design idea to be the, um, the column itself, the, the container that grows and shrinks as the contents of the column grow and shrink. So for that, we need a center cut column. Uh, for example, on this particular design, I have this blue monstrosity, and for whatever reason, I cannot get it out of my head, and I'm determined to have it be a container for my column that grows and shrinks as the contents of the column grow and shrink. So how do I go about doing that? Well, it's very easy, um, but the first stipulation is that when using center cut columns, such as this one, um, the column itself cannot have any layer effects. So the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of the layer effects. Now to get rid of layer effects is very easy. We just select the, the layer and merge it with an empty one. And so I've selected this layer and, a, and an empty layer, and I'm just going to go ahead and merge these two layers together. All right, so now that's done. There's no layer effects on this anymore. And I'm just gonna call this my main column. So that's all done. Now the second piece of the information that SiteGrinder needs to know is um, how do we want this thing sliced up? And so for that, we're just going to make one new layer, which is we put the center cut hint on. And the way we do this layer is this layer effectively divides the column into three pieces. And if I uh, drop the opacity on this, this will maybe become a little bit more apparent. So this layer um, splits the column into three parts. There is the uh, part of the column that's above this particular layer, and there is the part of the column that is below this particular layer, and there is the part of the column that is bound by this particular layer. So the, uh, the part that's above and below will come out exactly as they are in Photoshop, and the part that's in the middle will be sampled uh, one pixel tall but full column width sample and that sample will be repeated over and over um, to give a consistent smooth thing as the column grows. So I've made my layer that tells SiteGrinder how, you know, that, how I want this thing to be split up and I give it the same name as the column and I give it the center cut hint. The center cut layer is obviously not going to be visible on the final page. It just determines this. Um, one last thing about using center cuts is there can be the children of the column cannot extend into the bottom part of the column to that that lower section um, the children of the column can be in the top section and they can be in the middle section but if they they can't be in the lower section if there are children in the lower section then what's going to happen is they'll get the uh, the middle section will get extended to include them which is going to cause the the foot part of the column to scoot down so when making center cut columns, make sure that there is nothing, um, no other layers that are part of the column in this area down here. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, see how this works. So we'll uh, just go ahead and open up SiteGrinder. All right, no errors, no warnings, that's great. Let's go ahead and uh, build this thing. build here. And almost done. There it is done. And I'm just going to uh, close the design manager here just so we have a little bit more room. And now, I don't know if you can see that, but now you can see that this is a growable container and as I move it this, this container grows and shrinks. Now it appears, yeah, so there we go. 
So that is how you make a uh, center cut column and uh, um, use it in uh, good health.